this video we're going to be checking out how to play Run Run Rudolph on a rock and roll electric guitar but everything that we do here is 100% fine to play on acoustic guitar also and if there's anything that you struggle with here please check out my how to play Johnny Be Good with one finger video I will link to it in the top corner of this video and also in the description below it's there on YouTube and I think it will really help a lot of you guys that are wanting to know how to play this sort of style of rock and roll guitar um, so we're going to be looking at this in the key of A, which I think is a lot easier for most people to sing and do their own version of it. And if we want to do it in the original key of C and jam along to Chuck Berry, we're going to be playing all the same things in the key of C with the capo at the third fret and we just move the lead part up to where it's appropriate there. We can do that because this is a 12 bar blues and we're going to look at that 12 bar blues in the key of A which is exactly what we did in that Johnny Be Good video and that means to play it with one finger we're going to be playing the A5 chord with the first finger at the second fret of the fourth string playing string five and four together. We then move all of that down one string to here, which is the D5 chord. And then we move that up a string to here, which is the E5 chord. First fingers on the second fret of the fifth string, one, two, three, four, five. And we strum the thickest two strings together. So A5, D5, and E5. We then just play a standard 12 bar blues, but with what we call an early four. So that means that we go to the four chord, in this case, the D chord, uh, on the second bar after we've played one bar of the A. So one, two, three, four, D, and then back to A. And then everything else that we do is essentially the same as what we did for Johnny Be Good. If, as I say, you want to do that in the key of the original, we can put a capo third fret everything that we're doing is exactly the same just proportionate to that capo but we can jam along to chuck berry run run rudolph santa's gotta make it to town santa make him hurry won't you make him take the freeway down run run rudolph cause i'm feeling like a merry go round Once you can do that, and you should be able to do that if you could do my Johnny Be Good video, we can just look at how to add this rock and roll riff to this song and strum along to the whole song, and then we can look at that signature intro, which is essentially the main solo of Johnny Be Good as well, actually, because many Chuck Berry stuff, many Chuck Berry songs are basically all the same. So this is the rock and roll riff that we're going to look at to be able to play rock and roll guitar. So for every chord we play A, D and E, we're going to add on the third finger on the same string but at the fourth fret. Third finger like this and if there are any that are a bit wide for your fingers, you know, wide for your hand, you can't stretch to it, you can use your little finger for any of them. It's all absolutely fine. We then need to repeat the following pattern no matter what chord we play. It's one, two, three, four. Notice the very small right hand movement. That riff is using eighth strumming, so we strum eight times per bar. One and two and three and four and is how we would count that. And to that 12 bar blues pattern that we looked at before, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. would repeat for the entire song all we need to keep in mind is when the song first starts the lead guitar part that plays over that first four bars of uh, what we play so when we actually kick in we're on the D chord because we're on bar five And 
if we were to play that lead guitar part in the key of A, appropriate to this, uh, it would sound like this, and this is so similar to the main solo of Johnny Be Good, it's crazy. It's really worth learning, even if you're on acoustic guitar, it will all work, I promise you. That's it, and we're in this. This kind of style in the neck. Every time I'm playing two strings, these are double stops. And we're gonna slide up to this first one. This is the most fun bit. Slide in from the fourth fret to the fifth with the flat first finger, strumming the thinnest two strings. Third finger flat on string two and three at the seventh fret. Flat first finger, same two strings. Single note on the A here. And we just want a little bend down with that first finger. The original recording has a little hammer on, but it's a little bit harder to do that. Not the focus of this lesson, but that's something you more advanced players can have a look at. All we really want to do though, if I was jamming this in a band, a little bend down. That happens twice exactly the same. Third time, straight to the walk down, so in total. Just straight to it. Then, only three notes left. One, two, three. Love those last couple notes. Just the second half of it. And then we would jump to our rhythm guitar part. If we want to do that along to the original recording, just move it three frets up to the key of C major, eighth fret. If you're a clever clogs, you might not need to use a capo and we can do the power chord uh, 12 bar blues riff, which is like this. We can use a capo at the third fret. There it is, and we have the A, D, and E chord, but it now sounds like the C, F, and the G. In fact, there you can actually see the riff I was playing. The capo is just doing the work of what my first finger was doing a second ago. Let me give you a quick demo of all of that without the capo first of all, and then I'll do the demo with a capo. I don't bother rain because you know you're the mastermind. Run, run, Rudolph, man, nothing too far behind. Run, run, Rudolph, Santa's gonna make it to town. What have you been longing for? All I want for Christmas is a rock and roll electric guitar Run, run, Rudolph, risen like a shooting star
Let me know any questions you have in the comments. And I hope you really enjoyed that one. Check out my Johnny Be Good acoustic guitar and electric guitar videos if you like this kind of thing. And there are loads more Christmas songs on the Andy Guitar website and on my YouTube channel. I hope to see you next time, guys. Have a very Merry Christmas. Bye bye for now.